For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 12 of the Borussia Dortmund career mode here on FIFA 18. We are into the January transfer window. Now, right now, we uh, don't actually have that much money available to us. Just under £2 million. But we are looking to sell to buy. Now, I am reliably informed that you guys would like me to sell on Berkey and replace him with a new goalkeeper. So, uh, that is kind of what I'm going to do judging by your guys' feedback. But we're also looking to sell on uh, Gonzalo Castro. I've had a transfer offer here for Eric Derm, but I'm going to be rejecting that because uh, we want to keep Eric Derm at the club. But Gonzalo Castro is a player I would be willing to sell. So they've offered 17.6 Liverpool, and I will counter. I've had transfer offers accepted of £26 million from uh, Barcelona and Manchester City previously, but he hasn't agreed contract terms, so we will negotiate. Drop the video a like, by the way, if you're watching on YouTube, and subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on uh, on any more. Follow the link in the description to the Twitch channel too, so that you can uh, watch these live streamed live as they happen and actually have a, a real-time impact on these transfers. They'll be 23.1 Liverpool. I will counter again for the 25, and uh, we'll see if they'll give me it if I ask for it a second time, because that's actually a big jump from them there to go from 17 to that. And they are going to give me 25. Right, good. Thank you very much. Looks like Gonzalo Castro might be a deal done very early on in the window. But we'll advance as far as Mainz because obviously, like I say, we don't currently have much money to spend at present. It's going to be a case of selling to buy. So we'll play Mainz and Wolfsburg. Then we'll have Hertha Berlin and Freiburg in the next episode. By which point, hopefully, we'll have sorted out what we're going to do in the window with the live chat. But for now, I'm going to jump into this game against Mainz and hopefully pick up another set of three points. Like I say, thumbs up if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too. Follow the link in the description to Twitter. Follow me on Twitter too whilst you're at it. And let's see if we can start the episode with a win. Uh, the board have written to me to say good morning. Or guten morgen as it should be. Uh, we feel you need to deal with the fact that Sebastian Roder is unsettled. Uh, he's right. Or they're right. I am not looking to uh, play him that often at present. So they want me to sell him off. Or sell him on to get his uh, costs off the salary cap. So I'm quite happy to do that. I could sell Roda and Castro and buy in one new central midfielder, perhaps. I am not going to be selling on, however, Mario Goethe, who's been in stunning form of late. But let's actually go and uh, and put... Let's not transfer hub. Oh, why have I done that? Who have we got, actually, just on the transfer list whilst I check? It's Weidenfeller and Castro. Right, let's go and put Sebastian Roda on the transfer list as well. Thank you for the bits. Uh, Tesco deputy manager, but aspiring to be a store manager. He had a training course in the morning and had to head into work to sort some shit out. It's brutal. Now, I'm not surprised it's brutal, man. A 50, now, any 15-hour shift would be brutal. Even YouTubing for 15 hours is brutal enough uh, when you get the days like that. Right, who did I say I was going to transfer this? It was Sebastian Roder, wasn't it? Uh, add to transfer list. What's he valued at, out of interest? 10.5 million. He's on 50 grand a week. He doesn't play for me. Let's have a look at stats. He's played three games all year, and one of those came in pre-season. So, yeah, let's sell Sebastian Roder on as well as Gonzalo Castro and then try bring in a new central or rotation at central midfielder because we have Julian Weigl and uh, Leon Goretzka as my starting two centre mids, and that won't change. But, for now, uh, we will uh, jump into this game against Mainz and try and get that victory that we so badly need to try and... Increase our lead at the top again. Bayern actually lost on match day 17, so this is a great opportunity to uh, improve that and uh, extend our lead. Right, Mainz is starting line at Rene Adler in goal. Very good and capable goalkeeper. Five at the back. Luca Digne at left back. That's a player I didn't expect to see. They're playing 5 4 1. So rather defensive from uh, FS Bay Mainz, but. We'll see if we can get ourselves a victory against a defensive setup. Obviously, they've seen how many goals we've been scoring on a regular basis. And uh, setting up to perhaps try and stunt our uh, attacking prowess. But I'm not going to let them. I'm going to plan and aim to still score multiple goals. Nice tackle. Doesn't quite drop for the man in the middle. But we'll get it to Goetze here. Aubameyang's in. That's a lovely ball. Aubameyang in behind. He's on his left foot, though. Can he finish? Yes, he can. He's deadly. Dortmund 1, Mainz 0 after just six minutes. 
You just can't, you cannot let Aubameyang have that much space because he will punish you every single time. Might have five at the back, but if there's space to be exploited, he'll exploit it. That's his 23rd game, 20, sorry, 23rd goal in 17 games. Here's Guerrero inside there to Aubameyang. That's a good touch. Again, they're giving him too much space. I'll look to bend it. Woo! Pierre Emerick, calm down. Off the woodwork. What a ping. So much space. Again, I don't understand. But what a finish. 2-0. Oh. Both coming from Pierre Emerick Abami and great angle for it as well. No keeper gets anywhere near that. That's outstanding. Gertz into Weigel. Across to Matic. Tolian. Well, I mean, Aubameyang is in space again. It's nicely done. Gertz hit that early. Good save by Rene Adler. Leave that, Marco. We'll have the corner instead. We'll have the corner instead. In it comes. Guerrero whips. Oh, Aubameyang beaten to it in the near post. And that's straight to Union Weigel there. Gertz quickly to Aubameyang. Oh, off the bar. I mean, the footwork. Aubameyang's dribbling is unreal. I didn't realise it was that good. When we before we started this save, but he just twists away from defenders. They just can't cope with him. Rene Adler stopping him from getting a hat trick again. Royce with the ball back in, but it's going to be cleared away by Fisher. Although it's not actually cleared away by Fisher, it is eventually by the defender. Lancer will get that forward via Ostinelli to Muto, but it's been all one-way action in this first half. Somehow it's only two nil. It could quite easily be four or five already. That's uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Gabamin. <laughs> Oh, that's a good turn. Muto, lunge, missed him. Oh, keeps! Come on, mate. Yeah, you might as well fall to the floor and hold your head in your hands. Well, if ever I was going to have a decision to be made about Berkey, I think that's just made it up for me, hasn't it? That's made my mind up for me. I'm definitely going to sell him. I thought just here I was going to get to the ball, but I didn't. But, oh. <sighs> Berkey, come on. You're an 84 rated keeper with high reflexes. There is no way you should be being beaten like that at your near post. That is terrible. Oh, kind of played him into a little bit of a danger zone there. But managed to play the 1-2. Five will look for Aubameyang again. Runners all around me. The footwork. Aubameyang, you're just outrageous. It's not fair on anyone else. Yamalenko will try and cut this back to a teammate. And Aubameyang can't quite get there. I need to check his dribbling. I didn't think his dribbling stats were that high. But the way he keeps hold of the ball, Aubameyang, is just ridiculous. I'm going to check his dribbling stats now. What are they? I don't, I'm don't. i just trying to think what his ultimate team card looks like. 82 ball control, 82 dribbling. There is no way. There is absolutely no way that those his stats are that low. You've seen the way that he dances around with the ball at his feet. 82. It feels like 92. At least, if not more. I go around the corner to Aubameyang. I've got Goretzka here. Good first touch and second and finish. Did Adler save that? He did, didn't he? Oh, we're not going to get a replay either because of the uh, substitution. That is a top draw save from Rene Adler. Corner to come in from Mario Goetze. I would like a second. Not going to get it just yet. Goretz score third. Sorry, we're already 2-0 up, aren't we? Or 2-1 up. What am I even talking about? Two goal lead is what I meant to say. <sighs> My brain's not quite working, unfortunately. Rene Adler's brain is working, though, as is his saving ability there. He's made a couple of really good stops, actually, so far in this game. Now Muto could be in, but thankfully Socrates is a rather rapid defender and cuts it out, but that does the same to me. I need to sharpen up here. Thank you, Weigel. And Guerrero. Counter-attacking opportunity. And Aubameyang is the man to do the counter-attacking. He's just too fast. I mean... Have you ever seen anyone so destructive on a football pitch as Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang on FIFA 18? He just destroyed the defender. And I could have taken that closer to the goalkeeper and then slotted it home quite comfortably. Or quite tamely. But no, edge of the box, bang, top bins. He doesn't do things by halves, does he, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang? If he's going to score a hat-trick, he's going to do it exactly like that. The man is a machine. A machine, 25 goals in 17 Bundesliga games. Muto, as he threw there to... I still don't know how to pronounce his name, but I'm not even going to try because I'll only embarrass myself. Bamiang. Oh, that's naughty. Little back heel. 
Slightly deflected there. Gertz with the outside the foot. Showboating a little bit now. And Gertz is in. Mario Gertz for four. Yeah, we're showboating here now. That's 4-1. And that's exactly why we rejected the offer for Mario Gertz at the beginning of the episode. Dortmund 4, Mainz 1. Well, you just can't stop scoring with this Dortmund team. There's the final whistle. Mainz aren't the most difficult teams to play against. And they aren't the strongest. And, well, Pierre-Emerick Pierre -Emerick Aubameyang... Single-handedly destroyed them, I think, in that one. Hanover beat Hertha Berlin in the other game played on the day. But that will extend our lead at the top of the table because uh, Bayern Munich lost, of course. So we will have a quick glance at the table. It's a four-point lead. Oh, Hoffenheim won. Of course they did. So it's a four-point lead at the top of the table still. But we've scored... F <laughs> we've scored 50 goals in 17 games. I also have uh, conceded uh, 27 in 17 games. But let's brush over that, shall we? I've conceded as many goals as Freiburg in 17th. But we are now at the halfway stage of the season. And uh, things going okay for us so far. We're not actually running away with it. Despite the fact that Bamiang is scoring a shit ton of goals. So we are going to... Shall I transfer this Berkey? Go on then, I'll transfer. He's 85 rated apparently now, Berkey. But he's just not that good. He's just not very good. How is he 85 rated? When his stats just aren't very high. Sorry, sir. Transfer list. What are you valued at? Can I get a lot of money for you? 26.5 million. I might be able to get a little bit more than uh, than that for him. We have had a transfer offer again for Eric Dern. This time from San Lorenzo in Italy, but we will be turning that to... No, San Lorenzo are an Argent Argentine side, aren't they? My bad. But isn't that where, actually, isn't that where uh, Colicini went? San Lorenzo. Again, probably mistaken. Correct me in the comments and or the chat if I am. But we are going to look for a replacement to, um, oh, player returns from injury, I thought for a minute someone was getting injured. We are going to look for a replacement. Gonzalo Castro sold to Liverpool for 25 million, 21 of which has gone into my transfer budget. Uh, Mario Gaspar is on his way back from injury as well. That is great news. And an offer from Southampton of 39.2 million for Marco Royce. If I rejected 49.9, what makes you think I'm going to accept 39.5? Yeah, goodbye. Marco Royce is going nowhere unless someone scores, or someone scores, unless someone matches his um, release clause. And I'll be honest, I would be open to letting him go. I just, I'm not, I don't get on with him. I really don't get on with him for some reason. I never have done. Let's do a quick train. Right, now how much, let's just take a, a quick stock check. We have 23 million. Now that's not... Oh, if I change it to that, it's not really much, is it? Now, who could we get as a goalkeeper? I'd like to buy domestic if I can. So players like Ralph Farman, or keepers like Ralph Farman. I'll actually put the extra, extra there we go. Keepers like Ralph Farman are going to be go-tos. He is a very good goalkeeper that I'd be interested in. Um, the obvious standout is like Bernd Leno. Uh, there we go, Bernd Leno. He's £33.5 million, pounds, though, so he's going to be more expensive. Contract expiring in six months, though. Uh, Timo Horn is another domestic German keeper that we could look at. Timo Horn. Where are we? 24 years of age. What's he rated at? He's 85 rated now as well. Jeeps, Timo Horn. Okay. These guys are expensive, but with Berkey going the other way... I mean... Who do, which of the three, which of the three, with that, please don't type in caps in the chat, lads, I've asked multiple times tonight. Uh, which of the three would you like to see me, or would you prefer to see me sign? Farman, Leno or Horn? Type just once in the chat with one name, Timo, Horn, Bernd Leno or Ralph Farman. All right, Timo Horn is definitely the most popular in the chat, so we will go for Timo Horn first. Approach to buy. Please tell me that you will accept Berkey going the other way. Because, at the minute, I don't have the money to be able to afford otherwise. Roman Berkey. Please say yes. All good! Right. Looks like this could be a genuine possibility, then. I'll offer 10 plus Berkey. 15.2 with a 5% sell-on clause. How about 13 with a... 5% sell on clause. Right, good. Timo Horn. 
This could be something that's happening right now. We are going to offer him a contract. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to put my phone on silent. Apologies about that. Uh, he wants a crucial role. No surprising there that uh, we're going to be able to give him one because he's going to be my starting goalkeeper. Uh, a four-year contract. He's got no preference in length, I don't think. That's fine. Uh, not looking to add a release clause. That's fine. Neither am I. I don't like putting release clauses. 55 grand a week is nothing. You are more than welcome to have 55 grand a week. And I'm quite happy to accept all of those, actually. I'm not going to bother with uh, negotiating too much. We have a brand new goalkeeper at the club. Timo Horn is in. New signing number one of the January transfer window. Timo Horn joins from FC Kern for a considerable amount of money, but not so much that we uh, are worrying about not being able to replace him. Right, Mario Gaspar's on his way back towards the starting lineup, so we'll just put him in there like that. Now, let's put actually De Hood on the bench ahead of Roder. We're still trying to sell Roder on. And just for OCD, let me get these guys into different positions. There we go. Right, so we're still looking to sell Sebastian Roder on, but we haven't had any bids in for him yet. Now, actually, is he on the transfer list? That would probably help, wouldn't it? I did put him on the transfer list at the beginning of the episode, didn't I? I actually cast my mind back. Yeah, I did. Okay, good. So no offers in for him yet, but at present we don't have the money to go and replace him. So we are going to need Rhoda to be sold before we can bring him in, but or bring in a replacement. But for now, unless that's a, an email about a Rhoda deal, it's not. It's for Julian Weigel from Tottenham, 30.7 million, but that's going to be insta-rejected. Weigel is going to be one of the best holding midfielders in this save in a few uh, years' time, so we will keep hold of him. Uh, we will advance a little bit forward. A little bit. We will advance a little bit further. Uh, that's fine. They can approach Biden fellow on a pre-contract. That's not a problem. I see you, CJ. Don't worry, mate. Just a mid-flow. Sorry. <laughs> right. Uh, let's. And Yaki Williams has gone to Valencia. That's an interesting one. Let's go and play Wolfsburg at home then. What sort of season are they having so far? An indifferent one. Twenty-one points from seventeen games. Sat solidly mid-table in eleventh. Stuttgart are having a horrible season. Right. Bayern have won. Bayern have won. So we do need to make sure that we win to ensure that we uh, keep up our gap. But this will be Timo Horn's debut then for us against Wolfsburg at home. Wolfsburg for this fixture. Raphael right. Castile's in goal. Looking, Four at the back. Raphael at right back. Uh, Camacho and Gilavogi in the midfield. So strength, but not much pace. Origi on the right, on the left, sorry. Jose Cajajon on the right, and Mario Gomez up top. That's actually not a bad team. That's not a bad team at all. John Anthony Brooks and Brumer at the back. That's a decent team. I'm surprised to see them so low down in the table, down in 11th. Expected better from a team of that sort of ability, anyway. Let's see if we can get a victory again. Origi with a throw. Oh, he's done me there. And Origi into Mali. Wait for the cutback. I read it, but... Oh, dear! Nothing I could do about it. Smacks it against the woodwork, and then the defender insta-clears, and we've gotten it away. Although it's now back in a danger zone again. Divo Karigi down the line. Well cut out by Mario Gaspar. Right, OK. Well cut out by Socrates. There we go, that's better. Yamalenko. Oh, see you, sunshine. Toodles. We're off. Gerhardt trying to close down Yamalenko here. He's not the fastest, actually, Yamalenko, but he's getting away. And we will... Oh, Rabona cross, but Castiles comes to punch. Mario Gaspar will get there. Inside early to Yamalenko. Then look for Goetze. Quickly look for Abamyang, who spins well. Well blocked by John Anthony Brooks, and it'll spin away for a throw into me on the far side. Well, chances at both ends in the opening five minutes. That's not where I wanted to throw that, but we could still end up with a ball if I can close them down and get it back, but I can't. Some turn by Bamio. Looks for Goetze. Bit of footwork. Mario. Oh, never mind. Oh, he's given away. Goretz cut. Royce hit that early. Mm, no. Here is Mario Gomez. Back to Cajon. Across. Oh, bloody hell, Divock. What a save from Timo Horn, but Divock Origi, are you sure, mate? That is a ping. Strange technique on the save from Timo Horn. Went with the wrong hand there, you might say. Mali with a looping cross, and oh, Timo Horn again with a save and a block from the defender, but Origi deemed to take the final touch. What a save! The reactions from Timo Horn. It appears we've made a good decision in signing Timo Horn. Thank you, boys. 
Camacho. No, Mario Gomez. He's just too strong. I tried to hold him off and put a foot in, but I couldn't. He's just so strong, Mario Gomez. We're 1-0 down here after 18 minutes. One ball in. Take a ball through. Matip trying to out-muscle him, stick a leg in, but can't get near the ball. We're 1-0 down. This ball down the line. Gomez is onside. I'd rather he was out wide rather than being in the box. To head the ball into the back of the net, but Divo Karigi came close with his right foot and has now come close with his head. That was initially on target, but bends away. I'm struggling here against Wolfsburg. Is the message so far to Borussia Dortmund? Oh, come on, if you're going to stick a leg out, at least get there. Oh, what a ball from Mali to Jose Cajon. In behind, should have squared it, hits the post. Divo Karigi was just waiting for a simple tap in at the back post. Wolfsburg have been all over me throughout the entirety of this first half. I can barely get out of my own side of the pitch at the minute, let alone create a, an opportunity to equalise. Finally, we are in their final third, and Goetze could get played in here and it won't reach him because John Anthony Brooks has done very well. I am most certainly second best. Guerrero into Goretzka. Bible. Aubameyang. Now, getting the equaliser on the stroke of half-time would be absolutely perfect for me. And we might do so. Oh, oh, we still could. No, it just won't fall for me in the final third. It's going to be 1-0 to Wolfsburg at the break. It just won't. I can't get any sort of break in the final third against them here. Look at those stats. They're dominating me. Absolutely all over me. I can't cope with Wolfsburg right now. Gaspar with the throw. Easy army. Get it back on his left. Gaspar with the Early is cross, picking up Royce at the back post. Oh, Royce was offside. The ball does end up in the back of the net. Oh, so unlucky. He's got his back to the play. He's not even looking to see where the ball is or where the defensive line is. I'm going to bring on Shinji Kagawa. Mm, yeah, I'm going to bring on Shinji Kagawa, but I'm going to take Weigel off. So we'll move. We'll drop Gertz for a little bit, but I'm going to play with uh, a more attack-minded midfield. Royce into a Bamiang. Oh, see you later. Mario Goetze, bang. Wide. Bamiang just left the defender standing and Goetze, oh, you can see it started on target, which just bent away. A really good effort, but wide. Guerrero with the throw. Royce, I'll try and flick it over my head. We shall see you later, Raphael. Goodbye. Royce does well. Someone's ended up on the floor in the middle. I'm going to try and get it back on his right to cross, which we've done. Yarmolenko at the back post, but Gerhardt heads away. Goetze, Yarmolenko, back to Goetze, to Goretzka. Shinji's there, we'll see the pass was intended for, but never mind. Bamiyan got caught there, we'll take the advantage and try and run with it. Oh, Shinji, that's disgusting. You any better on your right foot? Yes, but still not good enough from that angle. I perhaps shouldn't have shot, but I felt like doing it, so I did it. Unfortunately, it didn't pay off. Nice. To Guerrero, look for the early cross, and Royce, oh finish, literally his last touch of the ball before getting substituted off for Andre Scherler, Marco Royce equalises, it's about time he actually did something for me isn't it, the cross was intended for a Bamiang, and it actually headed towards him but Royce chested it down in front of him and well the technique on the volley was superb, ready, wait for it, and bang! <laughs> That's a great finish. About time he's done something like that. Thank you, Marco. We're level. Nine minutes to go. They scored with the uh, scoreline at one eight minutes. We've scored with eight one minutes. The derby into Mar oh god, what have I done there? Mario Gomez, good tackle by Socrates. No, oh, but giving the ball away again. We're in stoppage time now at the end of the second half. Camacho, waiting for the turn back inside. It's not come from him. Gerhardt's going to go down the line. In, into Origi. Early cross. Win this, please, Guerrero. He didn't. Cajon! <gasps> Had to keep a scrambling. But it went wide, thankfully. Timo Horn isn't going to get a clean sheet on his debut. But he has put in a couple of very good saves. Goretzka trying to win that back. But Cajon does well. Not once, but twice. Didavi, three minutes added on here at the end. Swept her wide to Divock Origi. I read that turn coming, Yarmolenko tackles well and the referee blows his final whistle. It is just a single point at home against Wolfsburg. I did say at the beginning of the game that it was a strong side from them. And I was surprised they were where they are in the league. And you can tell from their performance in that game 
that they don't deserve to be where they Well, at least on that evidence, they shouldn't be where they are in the league. If they played like that week in, week out, they'd be pushing for a Champions League spot. But as it happens, they're pushing to just stay in the... T or get into the top half. Uh, we will have a quick train again and push towards the next game, which is in a week's time. And see if anything else happens in the transfer window between now and then. But I don't think it will. We'll just have to wait and see. It's up growing well enough, up to 73 rated now. No emails as of yet. But the gap is still four points. And Hoffenheim have, uh, have dropped points. So Hoffenheim and Bayern Munich now both on 34. Weidenfeller is going to leave us. That will be on a free at the end of the season. So we don't need to worry about that. And it's Hertha Berlin next, who are currently in sixth, but could go up to fifth if they win their game in hand. We'll see if they do that between now and the Saturday. I mean, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is just running away with a golden boot, isn't he? Uh, two emails, one of which is about Roman Weidefeld, the other is Shinji wanting to start. Uh, no, Shinji, sorry. I don't think I'll be starting you, but you're not far away from the starting lineup. And Bayern have won on match day uh, 19. Hertha Berlin also have won and have gone up to uh, fifth with that victory. So we now face them in the next game. That'll be at the beginning of the next episode, though. Uh, we have Hertha Berlin and Freiburg, and then we'll end the window. Trying to move on Sebastian Roda still. And uh, perhaps someone else if the right bid comes in for the right player. But for now, that's going to bring this episode to a close. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed here on YouTube. And subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on more of this series or of course the Chelsea series or any Football Manager content. If you want to watch this series or the Football Manager series streamed live as I mentioned multiple times, follow the link in the description to the Twitch channel and you can watch it live over there and have a real time impact on what happens and uh, in both Football Manager and FIFA. And of course follow me on Twitter too so you can keep up to date with everything that goes on with me on all platforms. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.